Welcome to Dr. Chester Rants, and I'm gonna rant about uh, about this. Update Antifa militant who stabbed Black Trump supporter in Portland released on bail by Antifa Bail Group from the post millennial. Yeah, you think that they would actually try to kind of not um, support the. Well, the common. Uh, I don't know what to say. Um. And the common idea that Antifa are, are all criminals and that you people are insufferably violent. Way right? to support the trope, Antifa. Anyway, back to the news. Antifa militant and convicted pedophile. Of course, another trope over there. It's a stereotype on the control left. They have a hell lot of pedos. Uh, Black David Hampe was bailed out by an Antifa bill group in Portland and released from jail after his July 25th arrest for felony assault. Hampe allegedly stabbed Black Trump supporter David Drew Duncombe, who broke the news via Twitter on late Thursday night. Blake David Hampe was bailed out and released from jail. From uh, Rebel uh, Andrew Dumcombe, as you saw here, it's a tweet. Um, mm. ah, I could actually click it, but I won't. I'm pretty sure there's probably one or two or some quantity of triggered little control left complaining that he mentioned this because, well, apparently, pedo criminals is a okay on the left. Anyway, back to the news. After being doxxed by Antifa on social media, Duncom alleged that Hampe had stalked him for several blocks in Portland before stabbing him with a, with a 7-inch blade, impaling, impaling his lower right flank. Oh shit. Um, I'm definitely not clicking. Maybe there's some picture, but I don't want to be yeeted out of YouTube, so I'm probably not clicking it. Hampus bail was set to 250... Holy shit, that's a lot of money for them to buy all this pedo out. Oh, fuck myself. Fuck myself and call me Shirley. Shit on a kick. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, I run out of shit jokes. Jesus. The post millennial editor at last and the... Ango, Ango, Andy Ango suspected, suspected the PDX protest bail fund on GoFundMe, which raked in over 1.3 million in funds from Antifa symp sympathizers to cover bail and other legal expenses for violent criminal suspects arrested amid Portland riots. If these idiots have this amount of money, then you should, uh, you should probably stop rioting. Oh my fucking god. That's a lot of money to bail out criminals. Fucking terrorists. Okay, back to the article again. Jesus. The Antifa stabbing suspect was bailed out today. I, I assume that he, like the other violent criminal sus suspects, was bailed out by Antifa bail group who raised 1.3 million on GoFundMe from Andy and Go. Oh, shit on a pickle. The organization recently paid $22,000 to Zane's bail fund and posted bail totaling over $50,000 last Tuesday, but the recipient is not yet revealed. Holy shit, what a bunch of fucking criminals! The groups list a full spreadsheet, spreadsheet of their financial assistance to defendants, including appropriate court attire, missed wages, and transit. He Jesus fucking Christ. The campaign is headed by Catherine Belaya, who Ngo is suing in the Rose City Antifa lawsuit for last year's violent assault on him in downtown Portland, leaving him with a brain bleed. Yeah, we were really worried about Antifa, uh, about Andy Ngo last year after he was attacked by the Antifa. And, um, and, he, and you could actually really see how he was dealing with it. Um, in a few interviews he, sh he showed up on TV, he, he, it was pretty noticeable the, the injury that he received. And 
And he, and Andy, I hope, uh, I really hope you win. <clears throat> and I hope Catherine really pays everything and she suffers the consequences for attacking you. Anyway, back to the news. Doomcom question if the Portland Freedom Fund is responsible for bailing out Humpe, which ironically only posts bail for black, brown and indigenous folks. Well, um, unless you are paid though, then, then they will make the... Uh, the, the exception on the rule. I believe he belongs behind bars, Doomcom told the post millennial in response to Hampe's newly found freedom. I agree, he does belong behind bars, but apparently, um, if you're a terrorist, you support the right politics and all those things, groups like, the, like this will bail you out. Engel reported yesterday that an un unnamed Portland-based Ant Antifa bail group was responsible for aiding Hampers' release. Shit on a pickle. <sighs> Blake David Hamper, the 43-year-old Antifa and convicted pedophile, was bailed out of jail last week. He was arrested based on felony charges. Char on a felony charge related to stabbing off a black conservative activist at the riot. I can now report that he was bailed out by, by a Portland Antifa bail group. Since PDX protest, bail fund posted two, two 25,000 bail counts on and a record of $50,000 on, on Monday. The post millennial reached out to PDX protest bail fund and the Portland Freedom Fund for comments but have not heard back by the time of publication. Well, that's kind of normal from these groups. Uh, I know that at least the post millennial is a good, is a good uh, journalistic uh, group. They are a good journal. They are a good newspaper, news article, news agency, whatever you want to call it. They at least in most parts, as far as I know, I can't confirm 100% because I don't read all their news articles. But at least of the ones that I've I've read, they do show a very good integrity, journalistic integrity. So at least the the post millennial he is kind of like uh, allowed or uh, not allowed. I think it should be given a leniency in in being responded to. Or, they should be replied to when they reached out to you. But if it's uh, something like BuzzFeed, BBC, NBC, CNN and the others, they have absolutely no journalistic integrity. So don't even bother replying to them. Anyway, this is uh, this is disturbing, really. Uh, you let loose a goddamn fucking criminal, a actual pedophile, who actually stabbed someone who is probably very racist too out with a bail of $250,000 holy shit on a pickle <sighs> you know what fuck this thank you for watching see you on my next video good night